Roger Clemens's fate is now in the hands of the jury. Five hours of closing arguments and rebuttals left 12 jurors to answer one main question. Did seven-time Cy Young Award-winning pitcher Roger Clemens lie to Congress about using performance-enhancing drugs? The government asked jurors to believe the eyewitness testimony of Clemens's former strength trainer, Brian McNamee. McNamee testified during the trial that he personally injected Clemens with steroids and human growth hormones. The prosecuting attorney added, quote, you are the umpires here, find him guilty. He gave a very powerful and very cogent closing, I thought, uh, and that was a little surprising because he has stumbled at times throughout the trial. The defense's main focus has been tearing down McNamee's credibility. Clemens's lawyers say McNamee has lied in the past and is lying now. McNamee saved a syringe in a beer can that the government said contained Clemens's DNA and performance enhancing drugs. It's not great evidence in terms of there isn't like, you know, there wasn't uh, a, a very strong chain of custody, for example. So it, it's easy to raise questions about that. If convicted on all charges, Clemens could face up to 30 years in prison and a $1.5 million fine, though under U.S. sentencing guidelines, he would probably face no more than 15 to 21 months in prison. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Washington.